Hi guys, welcome back. Let's look at the third point here, the optional SSR on roads. Uh, now, let's imagine uh, for some reason in this app, which is uh, already running here, I want to use uh, local storage. All right. So it can be anything which depends on a window object or something. So let's say I use local storage here in uh, json.stringify. It shows the entire thing, which uh, may not be needed. I will try to get uh, just the theme maybe. So what I can do here is dot get item theme. Uh, now uh, it is getting you know theme is light. So let me go to the server and let me try to restart it. And you see an error called local storage is not defined. So this is a server side error where local storage is not found. Uh, on the server so what you should be doing i mean uh, what you can do to mitigate this is you know you can use uh, the browser uh, variable uh, we have uh, seen that before so import uh, browser from app environment uh, app slash env now you can use browser and and local storage and uh, now what happens is you know it doesn't it will it will not throw an error it will show false initially and then it shows the you know local storage value now for some reason you don't want to use this and uh, you don't want to uh, ssr this at all this page at all in such cases you can tell sweltkit not to server side render or pre-render the particular page all right the way we do that is through hooks so hooks.js um, now here uh, we will have a function called handle so once you mention this function in, in uh, hooks you have to get the you know uh, event and resolve and then you have to return the response back otherwise uh, this will start throwing an error if i refresh here it shows not not found the reason is you know you as i said you have to return a response so here uh, previously uh, it was a request and resolve now it is event and resolve and uh, here what you do is re uh, you return uh, a response and the response will be uh, will do that const response equals you may have to await till it resolves so you have to use an asynchronous function and then await uh, resolve the event okay. so this is the response we have to pass so and then it should start working and it says local storage is not yeah it is working if i like uh, comment this it should be normal right so with this we are getting this error uh, that it's not found so let's see how we solve it now before we you know resolve it while resolving we can send optional parameters where uh, whether ssr should be true or false for certain pages so what we can do is here in uh, in this optional parameter so i can put ssr and i can do false which will apply for the entire app uh, it will not be pre-rendered at all all right so if we look at the page source you will see nothing here okay previously i mean when it was uh, it is let's say it is true uh, the page will be pre-rendered let me remove the local storage as well since it is throwing an error I'll remove that now if i look at the source i will get this pre-rendered in the server all right so okay so coming back to hooks i have set it to true here i have set it to false only in some cases so so with event let's let's look at what is event before we do that ssr let's make it false so that our app doesn't fail and console log this event because we want to get the url and we have to make sure only for this index page make ssr false so uh, let me 
refresh and go to the server side here logs here it's just, it says url there is a url object there is a request object and uh, they are independent so uh, what i can do is event dot url is something i can get now if i go back yeah i get the url and if i get enter dot path name and uh, refresh this i should get only yeah i'm getting that For some reason i'm getting data or json I'm, I'm not quite sure why so yes so i'm getting that so what i'll do is i'll use this here uh, path name equals equals so let's say it is index which is slash then ssr is false otherwise ssr is true okay so this should work uh, because uh, in this case it is working so let me uncomment this and it works and if i look at the source code here uh, nothing is pre-rendered on the home page uh, let me create another page just to check about dot html about dot spirit and i'll have a h1 here called about now if i navigate to that page about and if i look at the source here and we have this pre-rendered this h1 but not in the home page so this is how you can optionally uh, selectively use ssr on pages so this helps a lot so if your logic is to like login a user the login page doesn't have to be pre-rendered um, so in such cases or let's say there is a, there is a dashboard admin dashboard or something which uh, doesn't need to be pre-rendered you don't have to do it so yeah that's about uh, optional ssr on routes uh, i'll see you in the next one guys bye bye